On this channel, we cut meat, we cook meat, we eat meat. Today is no different. Today we're gonna talk about ground beef. I wanna show you guys how easy it is to actually grind your own beef at home. We're gonna make ground beef in different percentages. I don't know, maybe you like uh, super fatty ground beef, like a 75-25, or you want a more lean ground beef, you want a 96-4, you, you can make any percentage that you want. That's the great thing about doing it at home. You can take the most control over your ground meat. We're also gonna be able to use the extra trim that we have from our other butcher projects. When we cut a whole ribeye, when we cut a whole tenderloin, we had extra cuts, extra trim that we could have put in our ground beef. It's gonna make a much better quality burger. First thing we're gonna do is prepare the meat. Let's go. All right, so here's our meat. So I've taken it out of the freezer, I've defrosted it. This is a lot of the scraps that I have from a different projects. I got some brisket fat from a brisket that I trimmed. There's ribeye trim in here. There's like a whole wonky, like didn't really like cut straight, kind of the end cut of the ribeye. There's filet in here, there's chuck in here. There's all kinds of different cuts in here, just from different trim from different projects. Again, we're just gonna cut it into, it probably even too small. You can cut it into one inch pieces, will be fine for this, for this grinder. Um, you just wanna be, make sure it fits down the chute. And then also, if you're gonna do this for um, in like in one day, Maybe I would go to uh, pick up all my meat. I'm gonna get my ribeye, gonna get my whole tenderloin, whole strip. And then I just do this all in like, take a Saturday and just do this all in one day. That's probably optimal. That way you can fill your freezer up in one, in one go. We got all of our lean and all of our fat. So now we're gonna break this, up, break this down, weigh them out for the right percentages for the for a ground beef. Here's all of our meat cut up and, and weighed out to the proper lean to fat ratios. Now we're gonna get to grinding, but first I wanna put this in the freezer for about 20 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. And while we're at, I'm also gonna put the grinder attachment, the whole thing, the die, the blade, everything together. I'm gonna put it in the freezer. The secret to good grinding is to make sure that everything is super cold. So that is tip number one, whenever you're grinding, everything is super cold. Let's get all this in the freezer and then we'll get to grinding. While we're waiting for that meat to chill in the freezer, let's go over the meat grinder. So let's take this thing apart and I'll show you how it works. And here is the, the die. Now this is the interchangeable part. They come with, this one comes with two, or th well, I think it comes with three of them. But again, they're different size holes and that's gonna make a finer grind or a chunkier grind. This is the blade, okay, that goes in like that. I'm gonna show you more about that here in a second. And then this is the auger bit. So this is what, this spins and pushes all the meat through the blade and through the die. The biggest thing when putting this thing together is all meat grinders, you wanna make sure you put the blade in the right way. Now this is very, very, very important. You will know the instant that you don't have it in the right way. Everything comes, all the meat, instead of coming out in a nice ground form, comes out in like this gr really mushy mess, this really fine mushy mess. So what you're gonna, what you wanna do is you want the flat side to be out. Cause you want the, the, you want the flat side of the blade to almost touch the inside of the die. Here we go, put that in and just, there. Bring it back up to the 12 o'clock, clamp it back down. And now we're in business. I will put a link in the description so you can go check it out and see if you wanna pick one up. All right, so we got everything frozen. Everything's chilled in the freezer. I've now got my, we're gonna start out with a 75-25 ground beef. There we go. It's gonna be a little loud. I'll turn down the volume for everybody. You don't wanna over, overfill it. It's because then you're squeezing it out and it's adding more pressure and you're squishing the meat. But you still want it to come out in a nice even stream and, nice, and, and cut it up. So. so here's the first grind. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look much like the hamburger you see at the grocery store. It's because we have, we're we not done with this. This is actually gonna go through three times. All right, so here is the second pass. You see, we're getting a little closer to ground beef. We are gonna go one more time to make sure we get that nice smooth texture of ground beef. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go grind number three. This grind looks a lot like what you would get at the grocery store. Now, we can make a patty out of it, and that's gonna make a great juicy burger. If you wanna use um, something for chili, maybe you want a thick, you want a chunkier grind, maybe you only go through two times. This is a good all-purpose grind right here. Next, we're gonna do the 
and the 93.7. All right, so here's pass number three for our 80-20 ground beef. Look at that, so good. Great for hamburgers, 93.7, let's go. Here's our super lean 93.7 ground beef. Here are all of our ground beef, 75-25, 80-20, 93-7. Fatty to lean, grab yourself a grinder, start grinding your own. If you like this video, check out the next one.